Hey guys, so today I'm just doing a quick little video on how I get my fake nails done. So I don't go to a salon to get them done, I used to, but it is a little bit too pricey for me and I'm always too lazy and I don't go often enough and so I've got like two nails left and that's not a good look. So um, I just do this, I've been doing this for, I don't know, I'd say two months now. Um, so these are just um, nail tips that I buy from Shoppers Drug Mart and I glue them on, I shape them, trim them myself, and yeah, this is how I always do my nails. If you notice on my Instagram, my personal Instagram, I always post my nail pictures, and this is exactly how I do them. So I'm gonna let you guys know how to get these beautiful nails. So keep on watching and find out how. Yeah, yes. So these are the nail tips that I use when I want to do my fake nails. Um, they're by a brand called Nailene, and you can just get these from Shoppers Drug Mart. You get this whole pack for, I believe, $10.99. Now, these tips are supposed to be used along with acrylic. I'll show you how I put them on. It's not actually how you're supposed to put them on, but it works. So, the set comes with all different sizes of tips, um, the glue, and a nail file. So, now I've got all of my nails lined up, left hand and right hand. Um, I just size them up to um, my actual nails and, and pick the ones that fit best. So I'll show you what I mean when I said before that I wear the tips um, not how they're supposed to be worn. So these are actually supposed to be worn, if you can see there's like a clear part and then more of a white part. The clear part is supposed to end right where your nail ends, if you know what I mean. So there's that. And then you're supposed to fill in the remainder of that area. Um, like where your nail meets the fake nail with acrylic. <clears throat> I don't like doing that so I just bring the nail tip all the way down to my cuticle and glue it on like that. So how I prep my nails, I file them down to the shortest they can go, I push back the cuticles, and then I apply a Sally Hansen Triple Strong uh, base coat to my natural nails and that just kind of acts as a barrier from your natural nail and the glue that you put on. So what I'm going to do is apply uh, this onto my natural nails kind of thickly and then what I'm going to do is take kind of a buffer block and I'm going to take the um, less grainiest side of the buffer block and just buff on top of my nails. So I'm not going to buff into my nail, it's just going to kind of create a rigid um, surface so that the fake nail will glue a little bit easier. Alright, so I've buffed my nails and you can see that the surface is a little bit more rigid. Now I know I'm probably going to get some people saying that you're not supposed to buff on top of your nails, that's wrong. Um, I do know that I, I've seen um, like videos and posts like if you go to the nail salon and they do that to your natural nail then you should GTFO. But I feel like because I've put on like a thick um, base coat, it acts as a bit of a barrier. So I'm literally just buffing like ever so slightly on the top of my nail. So I, I don't even feel like I'm I'm hitting the natural nail. It's just making the surface of the of the base coat a little bit rougher so that when I glue the fake nail onto my nail, it'll adhere a bit better. So now what I'm going to do is glue all of the tips onto my nail. Um, there's no real technique to this. I'm just going to put the glue onto the back side of the, of the fake tips and I'm going to line them up with my cuticle and make sure that they're adhered to my natural nail um, as best as possible. You don't want any gaps or anything um, that moisture can get into and, and lift the nail. Alright, so I've got the tips all glued on and obviously they hella long, so I'm going to trim them down. I'm going to keep like kind of a square 
squaval, squaval shape. Um, but I definitely want them to be a little bit shorter because they're like Corella Deville style, which is hot, but not what I'm going for today. Alright, so as you can see, I've trimmed my nails and shaped them, so they are a little bit shorter than they were before. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of my how I have long nails video. <laughs> I put these on about once a week. They do last for seven to nine days, I'd say, um, and I'm not super careful with them either. This is definitely a cheaper alternative to getting your nails done at the salon every three weeks. I know when I would go to the salon, I would pay upwards of, I don't know, 30 or $40 to get them filled. And this whole kit is $10. And obviously you get, like, more than just one wear out of the kit. You get, like, at least 10 to 20 wears. So I think that's a little bit more doable than... 30 or 40 bucks each time you go to the salon. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to let me know. Alright guys, have a good day. Bye!